guitar is the uh, marriage of the gold hardware, the black finish. Uh, you don't see that too often on uh, jazz basses and it really stood out to me. It's functional too. Got Omega Bass Bridge. This is the successor uh, spiritually to the Badass Bridge. Great sustain on this. Really kicks ass. Also got two Seymour Duncans in here. That's an upgrade you can get on a lot of the Allen Edens and uh, I like them a lot. They got a good sort of mid smoothness to them that is really where I like to kind of hang out. Uh, the neck it's a little thicker than most of the jazz necks that I'm used to but uh, I actually like it better. It's a little faster to play on. It's uh, it's thick but it doesn't feel like you're holding on to a big old baseball bat. And uh, something about the finish just makes it real smooth, really easy to play on fast like I like to do. So uh, yeah, I've um, been really enjoying this thing. It's a lot lighter than most uh, jazz P basses that I've seen and I've come across, but uh, it still holds up. I tend to beat on my guitars pretty well and use them and put them through some stuff, so it really has uh, matched up to the test. So yeah, there's a lot of great basses that they've got going on. This is probably the most mild finish that I've seen so far. Uh, a lot of the Allen Edens have a lot of quilt tops and burl tops that are pretty cool. Probably get my hands on those soon, but uh, just the black and gold, man. Can't get classier than that. I don't need a disciple base. <laughs> <laughs> 